Hi guys, today's video is going to be um, doing some nail art with me. Um, and that since I've got, I printed off a few pictures the other, like the other day. Um, and to do some nail art, well designs anyway. Um, so yeah, so I thought why not do it with you guys. And that I've got my pile here of some nail designs um so i've just got some black ones with some silver glitter and a gem um some red white and then like a cow print kind of design i think that's no it's not i was gonna say it looks upside down but it doesn't um and then i've just got black and like some silver kind of design one and then some heart one and then some bear one and then just some colourful kind of lined french tip kind of ones and then just some dotted ones kind of like that um but yeah they're the designs i'm going to do today um some of them were like this one i might put this piece of paper in the pocket that it goes in well zip bag kind of thing that it goes in um so it shows that you can put them how to like kind of style the rest of the nails and stuff but yeah so i've got my box here with some of my nail stuff in like my gems my stickers and my actual nails that i'm going to be using these are just the leftover ones that didn't fit my sister's nails um for when I was doing her some nails with my nail art and that so yeah and all my glue and stuff so I've got that in there which I'm gonna move up here for a second all my my nail polish I just use like normal nail polish um I don't use gel or anything um purely because I don't want to keep having to set the nail polish. I know that's somewhat easier to use gel because you obviously don't have to set it or anything. You can set it and then it's straight up dry after you set it. Um, but I just don't like doing that. And sorry. Yeah. And then I've got my bag here full of like other nail stuff like i think i've got my stands in here for the nails and other stuff basically all in here so yeah i've got that and then as i was on about the bags that all my nail art go in so i've got like a random one with all like random nails in and then there is some pictures in this one as well and that so yeah so i've got random file valentine's file easter file halloween and then christmas obviously i'm not going to be using most of these files, um, well, bags, um, is probably all gonna go into random, um, probably instead of this, like, heart one, I might put that in Valentine's, but, yeah, so, I'll probably only use these two bags, but I thought I'd show you guys what they look like and which ones I have and stuff, but yeah, and that. Well, as you can see, 
these ones are slightly longer these nails but these are the ones that i've had for a while and then i ended up using them up doing all the nail art so yeah that's why i'm using slightly smaller ones um but yeah i'm gonna get set up with everything that i need on my desk and i will be right back oh. <laughs> so i've got mostly everything that i need out um and that i've got like the photos here um my diamond gem dabber thing also sorry about the light i'm just using like the natural light um and then like a dot tool um glue um some nail varnish remover um and then some lint free pads that you use for like gel um the nails any extra brushes or whatever in here just in case i need them and that but i know i needed these two um, and then my like stands that I use which I actually covered in polish um, and then I got some stickers which I use um, which are for putting on false nails but I use them to attach the nail to the stand just so it sticks better than blue tack blue tack and stuff how many do i need one So I only need 10, so that's cool. And that, I'm not gonna do every every nail in the photo. I'm only gonna do like one or two that actually have like a design on or if it's like the different colored like polish kind of one where it was like the french kind of different colored polish then um i'm only going to do one of them colors and then put the picture in the bag and that which will then be shown that you can do the colors in it and that also don't mind my nails um they will looking terrible um i was gonna say bodged but i don't know if that's the correct term um but yeah sorry once i finish this Design on. So that might be a bit too small. That one can go on that one. And if I put the size on the picture, then I can then just get the nail and then put it on the stand when I'm going to do that one and that one can be put on a big one, one 
can be put on. Big one. Um, it can be a small. And that is then done. As you guys can probably see here, I've got the dotted one where I'm only doing the one, which is the dot on a small. And then I've got like the cowl kind of one, which I'm going to do with just one. And then I've got this one, which is just the one I'm going to do since it's all the same. So I might as well just do the one. Heart is just obviously the one. It's coloured one. Um, I'm just going to do pick one of the colours which I have like two shades in and then do that um another like silver and um black one I'm gonna do three of that kind of the ones and then the teddy bear kind of one with the paw print I'm gonna do the teddy bear and the paw print and that but yeah so let's get started don't think I have a black polish. So for when it's black, I might just use a brown. Actually, I have polishes in here. Not where well, I think I have black. Um, no, one one. No, it's not. It's actually the top one. Top one. Anyway, a face coat. White. Neat. So I got a white. And where is the black? Oh here. And a black. No. These are actually like my double U sevens, which I wanted to use up all the ones in this crate first before going on to doing using these kind of polishes. Um, I'm not saying that I've got like my um, gels in here as well. Well, some of them anyway, because I've got another like crate with some more gels in. But yeah, oh, I also forgot to say I got out my gems as well. I got out both. I don't know why. Because I only need this one, I think. So, that one can go back. Um, but yeah. So, I will take out both of them. Even though I think I have a white in there. Yeah. But, I need a black on here it shows let me take that off it just shows it being shiny and clear so i'm thinking do i just put the dot on and then put a top coat on be like mm, that is that done or do I put like a nude underneath it I might just do it so it's like how it is in the picture so I get that on there And 
black so i guess you could put a color underneath but this one doesn't really show it so like so and that one is done i just need to put a top coat on it so all i done was do a dot on it and that is that one done I don't really need the picture um, of that so yeah obviously at the end I will go through and put a top coat on them all but for now I'm just gonna do as much of this as I can onto the next if I can get this tape off and it normally takes me ages to take the tape off since the tape comes off in bits like the smallest bits ever um, but apparently not today right black silver i might as well get the top coat out while i'm at it um and silver and also a gem i've got this one is silver i'm shocked i do need a brush for this one This one's also like got a clear bottom as well. I think most of these have a clear bottom, so it's not that bad. All apart from one, I think. I think the only one without a clear bottom is one of the bare ones. Not. So I'm also going to move that off for now, so I, I don't knock it. Um, it's like a like that, like a U. Like that kind of thing, I think. dry a bit so then I can do another coat on it but as I wait for it to dry I am going to do the dot the only I keep having random loose like gems fall no. I'll use one of these. There's a lot of loose gems. Anywho, um, I'm gonna use one of these. I think these are like self adhesive anyway, but I am gonna put a bit of glue with it. I'm thinking shows quite big but the biggest looks a bit too big especially to be so I might go with this row it's like that size and that so yeah Ok 
Okay, that one isn't open, so going to use a different one. I know this brush is open, so. I'll use this one. Okay, that does not work on that. I'm gonna have to use my hands. Okay, so now that's kind of done. I'm gonna do the second coat of the black. could just leave it um, with the one coat but I like to do it so as if it was actually on the nail and that um, I'm gonna leave that there like that um, since I need to wait for the black to dry I might start another one and I might as well go with another one that has like black on it so I'm gonna go with this hand this picture um i'm doing those three and that's so it has like black and silver like some silver like kind of like star kind of looks or just like two gems on it and then a silver like french with maybe like some gems going down the side i think on that one but yeah so i'm gonna do that and i've also got okay, i'm gonna change that one to this one because it's got a smaller tab on it so yeah so i'm gonna use these three stands i'm gonna take two off now just so it's easier to get to not so take this off and that was what I was on about only one of like the small sticky parts come off leaving it like oh you can't even see it because of the sun um I might use the same gem or well, same gem packet. Alright, I might start with the black one and it's just in one corner I don't know if there's actual gems in the corner as well as just like the silver so I might just leave it as just the silver on in this one and then <clears throat> and then put the picture in the folder and be like if you want oh, I'm saying as if I'm going to do someone else's nails and um, it'll probably only just be me doing my own nails um, so then I can think if I want a 
gem or so when I can. Um, but yeah, I need to do this corner in silver. silver it is the opposite side to the black that. but yeah I am gonna do another coat of both of them so I can go off to the side for now Next is two gems. I might just do the two gems because it's easier. I might do bigger gems. be a bit too big but it demonstrates what it's meant to look like anyway like so I probably could put a bit of silver around it but I'm good for now Silver French here. Do it down the sides. I'm going to go back to the first one I was doing. Well, it's technically the second, but the one, this one, with the gem on. And just do the silver line on, like above the black. Like so. like a thin layer of silver and then that picture can be thinned and then go in with a silver coat on these I'm only doing a second coat of these two silvers why not and it's also like a uh, not even like a thin layer of silver so 
you kind of need to be like hardly any gaps. Gonna put back on all of the ones that are drying onto this one to dry, and then I can get on with one in a bit. Gonna use the thinnest, smallest ones for the side. I did have some. I'm gonna, yeah, it definitely needs nail glue. Um, I did have some like st like sticker tweezers, which I could technically use for this, but I don't know where they've gone, so it does not help. I might do three each side. I'm thinking that might work. I'm gonna come back when I'm done. So I'm now done with this one with the gems on the side and I've just stuck a gem to me. Okay, oh there you go, done. And that so I'll put it on here and it can stay there to dry. I've also taken off all these ones and put the nail on it and then got out all the pushes that I need so yeah so it's gonna be fun what I might do is do the base of the white that I need now um, and then go on with all, all the other ones Especially since I'm going to have to do two coats of the plain white. Um, so yeah. So I might start with this two coloured one. And face that one that way. I'm thinking these two colours. Even though they seem... Oh, face that way. This one seems more blue and this one seems more green, but these are the only two shades that are slightly the same and have the two things, um, since I don't feel like doing pink, because I've got loads of like light pinks, so yeah. This darker one goes on the outside, so like just somewhat nearly over all the nail but then just down like so and that might do two coats of it just to be on the safe side okay. and while I'm waiting for that to dry I also need to clean this brush I forgot about that I don't need this over on it forever 
Um, I might as well do the one with silver on, which is this heart one. I might as well start that one. I know this is all over the place. That is the front here. Um, but I'm merely just trying to do it and that. For this one I need silver, a white, a light pink and a dark kind of pink. That is, this is the darkest pink I have um, since I don't really wear like really dark pinks. So yeah. Um, you can see there with that one. I'm trying to like group the colours with the um, photo and the nail so I know what is used for what. Um, okay, so it looks clear bottom and then there's like a Y for the white. But I might do the light pink first so then I can do the outlines around it so it's like up halfway up the nail on one side and down to like kind of halfway through the actual center of the nail might have to do two coats of this one as well <laughs> now that's the only problem with these like you have to do two coats of every color so it takes a while and that. so then i end up doing like 101 different um nail arts at once i might go in with the second coat of this plain white while i'm waiting This is how chaotic it is for when I do this. Yeah, this is the darker shade. Another coat of this. Okay, this colour is done with. Okay, I'm gonna get a rubber band for that in a minute. That one can be done later on, or finished later on. What colour is done with now? Um, then after the pink in the corner, it is the silver going in a line down it. So if you can hear any background noise it seems like everyone around me has a dog lives around me has a dog um so yeah 
so you might get a lot of barking. Put that out. Like that. I might try and do the white while I'm at it. Because I've also got more stuff to do. I think it's all the glitter that is needed. So this is what it looks like without the heart. So I've just got to do a heart on the top part here and on like the lower pink part. And that, but I need to wait for that to the lower pink part to dry. But I might try and do the upper pink part now pink heart I'm not the best at my drawing um, so this is not gonna go well and I know it um, and it needs have a look in that is the best I can do with my heart it's not the best but it's all I can do so while that is drying I might as well start on the better one Quite nice since I already started with the poor print one. Um, I've got two shades to choose from darker. The light or the dark? I'm not hundred percent sure. I might go with the light. And that. I don't know. I might go with the light. So I think I've done a bear before and I went with the dark so I might choose the light on that shake it as well um, so on this one I'm actually doing a bare face and then this one's like a poor print so I'm gonna cover the whole of the bottom It looks like the ears are in like a darker brown, possibly like a black. Oh, I don't know. I took that off. I need to do the paw print. This is going to probably be one of the hardest 
things to draw. Okay, so where's the front? This side, that side. This side, I think. Uh, I need the round part where the oh, the middle part is the palm. Um, it's meant to be straight, but I kind of done it angled by accident. But you know what? Oh well. Does it really matter which way it is facing? Not really. And then I need the dotter. How many dots does it have? One, two, three. I can only see four. So one, two, three. And then I'm going to use the smaller side to do the fourth. Four. So it looks like this. And that, even though the first two are kind of conjoined. one just to do the ears of this I might do like that This one looks so weird right now. Like, look at it. Like, what? <laughs> um, yeah, that one can dry. I will do the pink heart. Another terrible pink hut. Got three more nails to go, and then I'm done. Yeah, I still need. Okay, this one is done with. 
I'm going to do another layer of the white. Just so it actually stands out and you can't see any of the brown underneath. Okay, I will be back once I've opened this polish. Um, so yeah, so I've now opened this one. I've also started the like cow kind of print one. I don't know how else to describe it, but all I've done is like the white background of it um, and done the two coats of the white now. Um, Cause this video is long already so i want to kind of like speed it up as quick as i can um and that but yeah so this one just needs a thin layer of this color which i mean thin line but it doesn't need it doesn't look like it needs another coat um but yeah it's just like the two toned nah. eight down two to go I like i've also done some like tidying up so stuff might be a bit different <laughs> placed it a bit differently behind me um then let's try and finish this bare one should have done the dots for that one first but oh well which I need to be a bit bigger okay yeah that's cool I'm just going to put some black in the ear to add some sort of dimension dimension like so I will give you a close up of all of them once I've finished and then I might do the red lines then I am done with this and it's just this and the black. So that is not thin. 
Ten. going to use this dot tool for and to kind of make like the cow print I might just drag it along kind of part really put me off as I can see my my reflection in the wall <laughs> all of them done um i will do the top coat off camera um purely because i think it'll be easier and this video is long enough so yeah so i'll give you guys an overview now so these are what they look like close up so it's got like the silver and then the black black silver diamond 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 random dot <laughs> and then the silver and then the gems on the side and then this one like the two cone toned colors which you can do in any colors and then the pink heart with the silver and the white the paw print kind of which doesn't not really look like a paw print the bear and then the one i had just finished and that with the cow print all over it which might actually be my favorite and that will go on me now i've got to say this one and this one might be my favorite i thought like the bear or like one of these would be my favourite, possibly that one would be my favourite, but I think that one and that one is my favourite. But yeah, that is what they look like close but up. But that is the video, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!